Divine Feminine, my DFs, you find it hard to receive. Do you find it hard to receive? Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Peretti. I'm one half of Twin Flame Revolution, a consciousness mentor, a badass coach. Please like, subscribe, uh, share if this message hits your heart. <laughs> if you have a some kind of physical reaction to it or one of those like aha moments, please share, like, share the love. Um, ha, yeah, receivership. This part of circuitry of love, the give and receiving, this who infinity sign that flows within our being if we allow it to, right? To receive, knowing that we are worthy of that. And so when I say knowing we are worthy of that, that's the first part where there's an issue. This thought process that you are not good enough, that you are not worthy, that you are not pretty enough, that you are not, oh, you're not holding it down enough, your man or your woman, <laughs> that you're just not enough. This idea that you are faulty, it's hard to receive. If the vessel feels broken and crooked and scandalous, who? what are you going to fill it with? You, you, you're looking at the cup all busted up. You put water in it, it's going to leak out. Like, <laughs> my coffee is on the floor. No. <laughs> There's creamer. You're like, what the frick? Um, then you're just like, no, you know, I don't deserve that. And then there's things that you have received in your life that were abusive, inequality, pushed down, suppressed, oppressed. Those parts that you opened your heart and you were hurt, you opened the possibility of goodness and were met with something very different. So there's, there's two parts. One of like, am I worthy enough to receive? And the other part was I received so many bad things in my life that I don't wanna receive nothing. I'm not opening my heart or my being to it. So I'm going to share a little something to help you through this process. Okay, so for the first part, we are all worthy. We are taught that, Nick, you did a good job. You got a gold star. I love gold stars. <laughs> I wish that what my wife could give me like little badges of, but I do. I give myself gold stars when I, I, when I do something great and there's a great effect and my emotions are great and I see oh, all kinds of goodness or see somebody else have a breakthrough or I have a breakthrough in my life. I celebrate that. I celebrate myself when I'm on the floor and I feel like I failed and I get up anyways. And I see myself as this worthy, beautiful soul because I am, because I am energy, I am life, I am love, I am a king's kid, a queen's kid, I'm, whoa, I'm a child of God. Just worthy. I celebrate when I mess up and get up. And then this other piece, I've received things in my life that were not so great. So, you know, when we're young and we go through certain things, there's many reasons why we experience those things. I, I feel for me, this is just for me. This may not feel good to you. You may get very pissed off with what I'm about to say is that I invited in the experiences in my life at this, at this point. My karma from other lifetimes, you know, I may not have showed up that great. And I'm experiencing karmic things in my life from my past, you know, to, to go, oh, when I do, and even in this lifetime, when I do this, when I, when I show up in this way and I'm, you know, greedy or I show up gossiping or I show up selfish in the sense that like, I don't think about anybody but myself, there are consequences of my actions and that's the this is the most important piece is that there may have been things that happened to you there have been there have there have been things that have happened to you in your past when you were little that you had no control over but you are an adult now watching this and now you have control of how you will perceive the past the now in the future you have control in this moment and so what i would say to you is if your heart is shut down right now and you don't trust the person that hurt you recently you shouldn't trust that person if they hurt you don't trust them the only person the only two things you need to trust 
Is your higher self and God and higher knowing who is source and who I, those things trust, trust you in the connection with the divine. I call you the divine feminine. Listen, I'm in a female body, right? I got a lot of masculine energy, but I'm in a female body. Listen, I know the difference between when I'm in my wounded parts and when I am in my divine parts. My wounded parts gets triggered. My wounded parts wants to like run and hide. My wounded parts thinks that I'm not good enough. My wounded parts does not feel enough. And is scared to open my heart. And is scared to open my mouth in front of you sometimes. That's my wounded part. Your divine part is authentic no matter what. Shows up big and knows that it will be. And here's the part. When I was little, I had no control over some of the things that happened to me. As an adult, my mind, my emotions, my thoughts, my actions are mine. My sovereignty is mine. What I put out in quantum physics, right? Mind and matter are the same because my mind is dancing with matter, creating matter. Matter doesn't show up unless I am showing up, observing and intending and sitting. Then it meets me there. Hear me out. We're getting it. We're getting the juicy part. Ah, we're getting the juicy part, girls. Oh, men, <laughs> boys, girls, men, women. Ah, we're getting there, right? So as I show up in this essence, and I am aware of my thoughts, and I am aware of how my thoughts make me feel, and my feelings have vibrations, and those vibrations are creating matter in front of my eyes, my reality. I get to now choose my thoughts, I get to choose, I get to choose what this feels like. And guess what happens when I'm in my juicy good good, when I'm in my aware, like where I am in incantations, calling it out, what I am, what I am willing to do, what I am creating, when I'm in that energy, guess what I receive? First off, I receive everything necessary to get me to that matter, that matter, baby. I'm also shown things that are in the way of that matter. I'm also shown that I do matter. You matter. You are preparing to receive this union with, with spirit. You are being prepared to receive heaven on earth. You are being prepared for that marriage and the only way to have heaven in this body to receive that good good, to know thy peace, to know thy love, to know that you are perfect and whole, to know that you are worthy, is to clean up all the things in your mind and also in your heart that is stopping you from having that in this moment because it's already within you. And to be able to experience that love and experience heaven on earth, we have to feel worthy. And we have to be willing to receive and know what we are receiving. Because if I put out a whole bunch of hatred and I put out a whole bunch of things that aren't aligned with me, get, guess what I'm going to receive? I'm going to receive hatred. I'm going to receive attack. I'm going to receive abuse. I'm going to receive pain. I mean, pain is so we're all going to feel some pain. I'm going to receive suffering. If I'm feeling a whole lot of hell inside of me and I'm not willing to let go of it, I'm going to receive a lot of hell on the outside. That is within, so without. You are being prepared. We are all being prepared for this marriage. Woo! Get your, get your, get your tux on. Get your dress on. Get that, get that bride's dress on, baby. Get that, get that little tux. Get ready. Get ready because I've been experiencing it for a while now, this heaven on earth within me. You know, and as that union's happening with me, I'm feeling, I'm feeling all that good. And, and the things that are going on outside of my life are going to be exactly in alignment with what's going on in here. And so in this moment, if you're not feeling too worthy, I'm sending you so much love, bringing in all that good golden Christ coded love, all oh, that love to the parts of you that do not feel worthy and to the parts of you that are fearful of receiving, understanding that it's a new day. And that there is a way for you to receive what it is that you would like to receive. And what this universe and what God would like to give you. So that 
you can experience that heaven, that love on earth, that new earth, <laughs> that new earth frequency, that contract we made with the new earth to have that marriage. So we, we did it. It's ours. Love wins. Take a deep breath into that. I'm sending you so much love. <laughs> Bye.